Patrick Fingles and New Look Home Design are giving you their biggest sale of the year. And timing couldn't be better because roofs take a beating during winter. So now's the best time to replace your roof. Trust the roofing experts. If you do it now, you'll get 50% off materials and 50% off labor. Plus, you won't have to pay anything until 2024. Not one cent. I told you it's the biggest sale of the year. And I've got one more for you. Any homeowner who sits through a presentation will get a $100 restaurant.com e-gift card. Dinner is on us. Don't wait any longer. Do what I and over 40,000 happy homeowners have done. Call the roofing experts with almost 20 years in the business at 800-279-5300 or visit newlookhomedesign.com. 728. Traffic and weather on the 8s and when it breaks, here's Bob Imler in the traffic center. On 695 eastbound after South Capitol Street, the crash is gone. At southbound 3rd Street Tunnel, the crash has been uh, just before the southeast-southwest freeway. I believe they're still working on that, but it should be mostly out of the roadway now. Around the Beltway, things are clearing out nicely. Not a whole lot going on. They were checking for a car fire on the Memorial Bridge. I don't know if they're finding anything there. Uh, maybe something going on in the road into the airport um, coming off the GW Parkway. A southbound that's backed up on the ramp trying to get in. Maybe something holding things up there. Things are generally good to go, though. On 66, there are no delays. On 95 South, briefly slow at the Occoquan in Maryland. 95 at the Baltimore-Washington Parkway doing all right. Pretty much the same story up and down. 270 and 50 is pretty quiet getting out to the Bay Bridge. Rid your home of unwanted pests. Turn to Home Paramount Pest Control. Call for a free inspection today at 888-888-HOME or HomeParamount.com. Bob Inley, WTLB Traffic. Now the forecast from Storm Team 4's Amelia Draper. A cold night across the area with mainly clear skies. A few more clouds moving in later as the storm system approaches. Any morning sunshine tomorrow gives way to cloudy skies with rain moving in afternoon. Highs in the mid to upper 40s. Rain continues tomorrow night, ending very early Wednesday morning. Throughout the day on Wednesday, we're looking dry with breezy winds and partly sunny skies. Highs in the low to mid 50s. We're in the mid to upper 40s on Thursday with blustery winds and plenty of sun. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Amelia Draper. 37 in Gaithersburg. We have 44 in Arlington and 37 in Lanham. Lows tonight, upper 20s to low 30s. In 60 seconds, we'll head live to the UVA campus and check in with our Kyle Cooper as students remember the three football players killed on campus earlier today at 7.30. Caring for atrial fibrillation requires a team of medical specialists working in rhythm to create the best treatment plan for your unique risk factors. At ANOVA, our integrated AFib team works together to provide personalized care that is proven to achieve the best results. We work in sync to make sure your heart beats in regular rhythm. Schedule your AFib consult today at ANOVA.org slash heartbeat. Sarah, how many times have you opened a door and been surprised by the amount of junk hiding behind it? Lots of times. Yes, and during junk reproductive season, we receive lots of boxes of new items, and there's no place to put them because all the storage spaces have gone J.E. J.E. Junk Exponential. Is this junk reproductive season? Yes, Sarah, it is. Have no fear. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. This is WTOP. Today's top news, traffic, and weather. The WTOP producer's desk is wired by IPEW Local 26, where electrical contractors come to grow. Good evening, I'm Michelle Bash. And I'm Ann Kramer. Alicia Abelson is our producer. The top stories we're following for you tonight. New tonight, no classes again tomorrow for the students at the University of Virginia. This decision comes after last night's deadly shootings of three UVA football players, allegedly by another student. The accused shooter, identified as 22-year-old Christopher Jones, is in custody tonight. Our team coverage begins with WTOP's Luke Lukert in Charlottesville. Devin Chandler, Deshaun Perry, and LaBelle Davis Jr. were killed after coming back from a play in Washington, D.C. Bodies of Devin and Deshaun were found inside a charter bus where they had been for the day. UVA police chief Tim Longo, someone amongst them, chose to do an act of violence. For around 12 hours, police searched for UVA student Christopher Darnell Jones and finally arrested him for second-degree murder. He had also been on the football team at one time, University President Jim Ryan. My heart is broken 
for the victims and their families and for all who those who knew and loved them. Two other students were shot and one is in critical condition. In Charlottesville, Luke Luger, WTOP News. It's 733. Thousands of UVA students are gathering tonight on campus for a vigil to remember the three who were killed. We go live now to WTOP's Kyle Cooper, who is in Charlottesville. Kyle? Hey, Ann, um, keeping my voice down a little bit here tonight. Um, this vigil is taking place on the South Lawn. A lot of people know UVA, and if you're not familiar, though, this is happening um, just opposite of the uh, famous rotunda here at UVA. Literally thousands of students are here. And I got to tell you, Ann and uh, Michelle, um, it, it's been a hard day here. Um, it's been an ugly and dark day, and this tonight is quite beautiful. Um, thousands of students holding um, either lights from their cell phones or these little orange tea lights. Um, just moments ago, they all um, went from sitting on the ground to standing up, and they're holding these lights up. Um, they're all just trying to find um, some hope and some peace in this today. It's been a tough day of, of, of recognizing what happened down here. Um, a lot of students just not really wanting to talk about it. I did manage to talk to a few students, and, and they're all just, um, I'm shocked. And it's been a really tough day. And um, hoping that this uh, sort of, um, this is really sort of an informal vigil that was put together by the student uh, body, student council. And um, they're hoping to have probably another community-wide vigil here sometime later this week. But tonight, it's uh, thousands of students, community members, um, and faculty um, just just um, trying to find some peace by being together and um, walking through this. It's going to be a tough um, time down here at uh, UVA for a while, but um, these students seem committed to finding a way to find some peace. Um, we'll let you know how they're doing, um, what they're talking about as uh, we go through the uh, evening tonight and through tomorrow morning. Reporting live from UVA, Kyle Cooper, WTOP News. Thanks so much, Kyle. We're also getting reaction tonight from members of the university's athletic department. Head football coach Tony Elliott releasing a statement in which he called the victims precious young men who were called away too soon. He said they touched us, inspired us, and worked incredibly hard 